When you get a new book, what do you do? Do you immediately whip it right open to see what's inside? Or perhaps just savor its smell for a bit? What do you do when you get a new book? How do you open a new book? I'll bet that you're doing it all wrong. If you're like me and you have a particular fondness for books, then hopefully this video will help you protect your valuable possessions. Books used to be made with better bindings and better paper as well, but they were more expensive as well. I have a few books from the 1800s and they still open fine. Their spine is not cracked. There's no folios or pages falling out. I have this copy of R.C. Trench's Notes on the Parables that was published in 1862. I picked it up at this really cool bookstore in England, Scar Thin Books in Cromford. This bookstore is definitely worth it if you ever visit England or are in the Peak District. You can check them out down below at scarthinbooks.com. But I digress. Even after 150 years, the binding in this book is still good. If you frequent antiquarian bookstores, you'll find that a number of them will have little leaflets in them explaining how to properly open a book for the first time. So how do you open a book so it's going to last a long time and not fall apart? Let me show you. I got a couple of brand new books I need to open up and get ready for reading. What you don't want to do when you first get it is forcefully open it up so it lays flat at some random page in the middle. That's also true is if you take the book and then you just work at it one page at a time, forcing it to open up and lay flat. That's going to put a lot of strain on the binding of the glue that holds the book together. These are paperback books and the binding on them is not nearly as good as the hardback books that are sewn together. But the same technique applies to every book, from paperbacks to more expensive hardbacks or leather bound books. The technique I'm going to show you is really simple and only takes a few minutes of your time. I recently purchased this 600 page commentary on Matthew for about 50 bucks. So I have a fair bit of money invested in this. As a thick paperback, this is just the type of book that I would expect to fall apart after a reading issue. Nothing against the publisher, it's just that if you don't open a book properly, I would expect that the binding and the glue holding this together would not last very long. Let's do an experiment. See if I can open this 600 page paperback without cracking the binding. If I can do it with this book, then we should be able to do it with just about any other book. How do we open a book? Let me give you a couple simple steps. First, grab a cup of coffee. This is absolutely essential in my opinion. However, I don't know of a major library around the world that would recommend having coffee around books. Second, before you open the book for the first time and rush to read it, stand it up on the table in front of you with the spine on the table. Third, starting at either cover, lay it down and then gently run your finger along the spine so that it lays flat. Do this with the other cover as well. Fourth, this is basically what we're going to be doing with the rest of the book as well. Now take a few pages on either side Lay them down flat and then gently run your finger along the inside to get it to lay flat. Let's start a stopwatch to see how long this process takes with this book that I just started. Take about an equal number of pages from each side and do the same. The fewer papers you take, the longer this process will take, but the outcome will be better. I wouldn't take more than 10 pages at a time, but doing one at a time is just a little bit of overkill. You be the judge. Each book is different. Alternate between working back and forth from the front to the back until you've reached somewhere in the middle. I usually do this process twice on a book. It does take a little bit of time, but I find the results are well worth the extra time taken at the very beginning when you get a book. This is why you need coffee. As you can see, for this 600 page book, it took me 3 minutes and 36 seconds. Not bad when you consider how long this book is. And you need to remember, most paperbacks are around 200 pages. The spine is not broken and the book 
lays nice and open when you're done with it. I haven't broken the binding on a book yet that I've used this technique on. I use this technique on used old books as well, like my copy of Trench's Notes. It doesn't hurt the book and it makes it last a little bit longer. If you loan your books to someone else, I find this is really useful. By getting your book ready to be read like this, it means that you don't have to worry so much about them breaking the binding of your book. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, hit the share button, and let someone who you know who opens books the wrong way see this video. Consider subscribing to the channel as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Till next time, peace. Thank you.